Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, yeah, this is really interesting. Look at this. This is exactly exactly what we thought was going to happen. Salty DreamWorks Shira fans are demanding that the live action Amazon reboot not happen. And they instead get the movie based on what they want. They get the, the movie they wanted, the season six they wanted. That ship has sailed, and I hate to be that guy, but now you know how it feels. Yeah, you know, uh, maybe they should stop being istophobic and understand that maybe it's not for them, it's for the children, and they need to move on. You need to move on. You need to move on because remember, remember everybody, we had headlines like this. You know, get over yourselves. Uh, Shira is not sexy enough for the men. The fight over Shira's Netflix redesign is because some men are mad she's not sexier. Uh, adult men are just furious about the new Shira cartoon. It's oh, pathetic. And I can do reverse, which is lesbians. We're mad because we're afraid we won't get lesbians. Don't worry. It's going to Amazon current year. You'll probably still get lesbians. Oh, yeah. I, I Here's the thing. Like, I don't have any hope that this show is going to be anything like classic Shira. Oh, it won't. Um, I think it's going to be a complete reimagining, and it's very possible it's going to be a hundred times worse than the cartoon. Yeah. Because I don't know how they're going to do this in live action, and we know which direction Amazon's going in. But it's just really, really funny to watch the soul. Only three years. Only three years. I know. I know. They're doing it again. They're rebooting it, and they're having a fit after. Other fans were fans for 35 years and not liking a redesign. Look, just the, the, the concept art got you so much shit and got you harassed, doxxed, threatened, told you should die, oh, yeah. et cetera, yeah. et cetera. And I'm not making any of this up. No. Uh, with receipts for all of it. And, you know, that's what we got for not liking. For, all I said was, why does she look so boyish? And that, why, you know, that's, that's what, I mean, she looks like a dude. That's all I said. Oh my God! Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about the salt, and uh, again, you know, at this point, I don't have any hope for any reimagining of any '80s property. I know that the Amazon version is not gonna be anything like classic Shira. No, she'll probably be black and fat or something like that. Uh, probably. You know, probably. probably. Or, or to save money, they'll set it in current day America or something stupid yeah, like something that. Yeah, stupid. Know? But, you know, it is just sort of uh, poetic justice after the years of harassment, especially Geeky has... Oh my God, has, so much shit. ...has dealt with, uh, you know, the DMs, the nastiness, all that. And it's like, you know, in this case, guys, it's not our fault. It's not our fault. Take it up with Amazon. Oh. Take it up with DreamWorks. Take it up with Mattel. I think Amazon shouldn't do the show. Do, do the show at all. I think it's going to go badly no matter what, unless they make it more like classic. And even then, I think it's going to go badly. I just, you know what? Karma's a bitch. I'm sorry, but it is. And I don't want to hear one effing little ounce of whining shit out of you people because you're now having a hissy fit because it meant so much to you. Well, a lot of us fans said it, that the original Shira meant a lot to us. And then you guys kept running with these stupid narratives. We're going to talk about this in a minute. But before we get into it any further, before my rant comes, I'll let Neon take it. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. Over 235,000 subs. Woo! Thank you for the support. We talk a lot about the animation industry, talk about the 1980s, talk about movies, talk about streaming, and this is sort of the, the nexus of all of that stuff. So, yeah, we knew this was going to happen yesterday when Variety announced that they were you know doing some development, early development on a live-action Shira reboot that has nothing to do with the DreamWorks cartoon. Even though DreamWorks is involved as a producer, that's probably just because they have the rights to Shira. Right. Uh, doesn't mean Noel Stevenson's involved. In fact, they said there's no writer attached to it, but it will have it nothing to do with the cartoon. It show. hasn't even been picked up yet. The show hasn't even been picked up yet. So it's probably. I mean, no one wants this. Yeah, even even the uh, the 2018 Shira fans oh, don't want this. Oh, it's glorious. So. The little shit, the little shit fits they're having on the internet is just beautiful and wonderful. Because you know, if it all came down to if you didn't like it, you could just make a bunch of bot accounts on Twitter to get it trending, and then turn around and do a change.org petition. Well, why didn't all the fans of classic Shira think of that when they ruined it the last time? Or you, even if you didn't, but a lot of people didn't even watch a show, even though the show wasn't. It was not Shira. It was yeah. another show with a coat of sheer paint. That's for sure. Um, 
but so people, a lot of people didn't watch it because the media immediately ran with, if you don't like the show, it's because you're an istophobic asshole. Usually you're a dude, an incel, whatever, insert your insult yeah. here. You know, the mindless Twitter shit of the day. Yeah. Um, now the, the Shiris is, are having a massive meltdown because they're afraid they aren't going to get their Kedora bullshit, you know, movie they want. That only they are asking for, and, and, and to be frank, are a tiny, tiny, tiny percentage of the actual Shira fandom. Again, how does it feel? How does yeah. it feel uh, to have your voices ignored and to have something you well, love obviously just toxic. Uh, completely rebooted without your consent? Mm -hmm. uh, how does it Oh, feel? no, they're, they're owed it. They will tell you they're owed it. But mm -hmm. when, when, old, when old school fans were like, wait, we kept this around for 35 years. What the hell? And we don't like the way you're behaving towards, you know, old school fans. You're just, you're, you're a monopausal cow. You're just alt right. You're, you hate gay people. You're, you know, and I'm a bad mother. I got told I was a bad mother. Yeah. Such, it was ridiculous. Such bullshit. Years, years of bullshit. And the reason we do so many Shira videos is not even that we, at this point, you know, care so much about what happens with that show. It's in reaction to the incredibly toxic fan base. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that's everybody. If you like Shira and you're not an asshole, that's fine. That's completely you're fine. You're allowed to like it. We're, but you're allowed to not like it too. And that's been the problem. We're talking about the people that literally send us death threats. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the people that have doxxed our children. We're talking about those batshit crazy cartoon fans who have, you know, given the rest of fandom, and that's every every cartoon fandom, not just Shira, but we've seen it with Voltron, we've seen it with Steven Universe, we've seen it with, you know. Well, where are the media articles coming out talking about the toxic fans that are demanding that they get their own Shira show the way they want it, and that they're toxic, terrible people, and the fans shouldn't have a say in in, in these kind of things? I think where are all the articles? We got it with Star Wars. Yeah, I don't, well, give them time. Give them time. No, I think, they won't do it because they're on the same side of these people. Yeah, uh, you know, and again, you know, there are countless articles about how old school fans need to shut the hell up uh, and just you know, you know, let the new fans come in. So when the when this show finally happens, if it happens, I mean, it's still you know in in planning stages. When it happens, and it cultivates a brand new audience. Are, are you going to fight with them too? Or are they going to have the high ground? Like this is the new Shira for the new fan. You guys are old news. You guys are just a bunch of old, old has-beens. This is the new Shira. Right. Even though it's only been three years. Only and you have to years. shut up because you're just toxic. You, you just mad because you can't flick the bean to Shira. Even though you probably won't be able to. Who knows? I, yeah. Um, I'm just like, maybe they're going to make her hot and then everybody can get off to Shira. Who, who knows? I'm just like, I'm so tired. I, where I'm coming from is the sheer hypocrisy is just mind blowing. Did you say the sheer hypocrisy or the sheer hypocrisy? It could go either way. Okay. It's just mind blowing. They even have a Shira Warriors Twitter account that are out there trying to get the movie made and say Shira. I'm like, bitch, please. I was a Shira Warrior since before you even had this account. I was a Shira yeah. Warrior since before you even got your show. You know? Don't even, and then they keep running these narratives that, oh, it's campy and bad, and it was just made to sell toys. Well, you know what? A new show is probably going to be made to sell toys. Uh, yeah. Um, if, if I had to guess, because the, the, you know, regardless of what you think about the show, it's indisputable that the, the, the Netflix Shira show failed to sell toys. They barely had toys for it. They brought the toys out at the very end. We've heard from people who have heard from the source or sources at Mattel that Mattel wasn't real happy because they looked at the character designs. They're like, we can't toy these. Mm -hmm. like, well, that was the point. That was the point. The whole point of doing this show was to sell toys. And the reason that the, you know, the dolls came out so late is they're like, they're not going to sell. They kit bash like what DC superhero girls and you know that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, they to use do it. reuse bodies from other. Now, I mean, they kit bash a lot of toys in Mattel. So. Yeah, Mattel does. But now compare this to what they're doing with the uh, the other Netflix He Man shows, mm -hmm. where they had toys ready before both of the shows premiered. That's because they had control over that one. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think this is about control, too. So anyway, let's look at some of these glorious meltdowns on the Internet. Um, and and I'll, have, I'll have commentary to go along with it. So really, a lot of the dogpiling began. Variety was the one that broke it. 
And uh, you know, the yeah, comments... I saw it right after it came out. That's why I went on. I went on Twitter and I said, "Oh my God, Amazon! You know, things. Netflix is going to ruin everything." Amazon says, "Hold my beer, hold on, I'll, I'll have a video." And then after I said that, people started finding out what I was talking about. But yeah, go ahead. Here, uh, there are so many reactions. Uh, nobody wanted this. Is it going to be gay? Sorry, the gays own Shira now. Yeah, like, like the rainbow, they own that too. That was incredibly homophobic. How was that? Wait, it's homophobic. <laughs> Okay. Imagine hetero Adora, blah, just cancel it and give us a Shira movie. Instead. Hetero Adora, you know, like she always was for 35 years. Stop, we do not want this. Stop it. No one asked for this shit. Not even the 80s Shira fans asked for this. That is actually true. I will give you that. That is actually true. Stop using pics from the Netflix series. Yeah, see, part of the problem is that almost all the articles talking about the Amazon show is using the Netflix. Oh, you mean like part. when they had the new show come out and they used classic Shira when they had this that was com a new show was coming? Yeah. Because they don't have anything but, you know, the, the and that's the most recent show. That's the show you all want. I mean, that's all, you know, if you they had used classic Shira, you had a shit fit because they're using classic Shira. How does it feel? And we need a continuation of live action. Yeah, we needed a continuation of the classic Shira show. Just make a movie with the original animation. You mean yeah. 80s? Yeah, sure. Yeah, original 80s. Uh, Sounds good to me. Clapping. No one wanted or asked for this. No one wanted or asked for Princesses of Power either. Post people hated it. And then you, and the, and the old school fans, now some of the old school fans loved it, and that's cool too. Yeah. But people did not like it. And uh, immediately, the PR spin for the entire show was to attack fans. Oh. How come it matters when you want it? Boo! Stop using photos from the well-loved and critically acclaimed 2018 series when this new thing has no connection to it. Thanks. Yeah, exactly. They used classic Shira. To announce... And years of fan support. Years of fan support to announce 2018 Shira. Which is basically Noelle Stevenson's own show where they slap Shira paint on it. Yeah. There's something else. It's clearly something else. Again, you can like that show. That's not the issue here. The issue here is the karmic boomerang. Mm -hmm. Years, years of nastiness, uh, attacks. Again, literally, the only thing we've ever gotten threatened over is fucking Shira. Of all the stuff we cover... Shira is what what yeah. sent the crazies our way. So I don't stop being so salty. Stop it. Yeah, and you know what? I'm gonna agree. We're in baby tears. I'm gonna agree with you. Nobody wants a show. I, I pretty much at this point, anytime there's a remake or reimagining a reboot of an 80s thing, just pet cemetery, man. It's not gonna come back the same. Uh, you know, even like with Star Trek, Picard. I watched two episodes. I'm like, I already see where this is going. This isn't gonna be next generation. I'm out. I'm not, I'm gonna save myself the the uh, frustration and same with doctor who i like they they retconned it i'm like i'm saving myself the frustration the show i loved is dead you can have it i'm out i like this hoping for an 80s version of sure show me too but you know what they'll it's find a way happen. to ruin it that's not gonna happen remember, nobody's gonna be happy everybody's jumping remember this isn't for you if you don't like it you don't have to watch it you have your old show to cling to oh, <laughs> oh here, are you kidding me We've been asking ever since for a oh year for an image Oh movie. my god! We've we been get asking this? for over a year. Nobody you mean like asked old school for fans this. Asked for more Shira for thirty some years. No, you've been asking for a year. Cry me a fucking river. Sorry, mom. Oh god! Thank you for relaying the message. If the series becomes some disgusting homophobic sex series marketed toward teens, can we count on you to be in the front lines of the war? Thank you. A very wait. How is it going to become a homophobic? You know, whatever. It was, I think Change it's, it was never. That's what I don't understand. People keep going on this narrative that they just invent that Noel Stevenson and crew somehow invented, invented diversity for the show. It was diverse to begin with. All catcher avatars, probably like three people. With the same damn, oh, all the all, all accounts? Yeah. The, yeah. the fans are probably about the 1,000 people that are signing the petitions and the rest are all alt accounts. This has to be fake. No, it's not fake. They got it from an inside. Look, there's definitely something going on. We talked about this yesterday and I need to look into it a little bit more, but... There are major issues with the Shira and He-Man licenses, and it feels like, you know, Universal on one side of it, Mattel on the other, they're in like a, a war to like outdo each other with how much Masters of the Universe and Shira content they can shit out as fast as they mm -hmm. can. Which um, no one wins for the nobody most, wins if it's, on this you know, kind of thing. I mean, Netflix has two damn He-Man shows, dueling He-Man shows. They're all mad about using the pictures. They did the same thing they when they the announced the Princess of the Power show. You know, get over it. 
Um, but you know, we have other places. You had other stuff pulled up. Yeah, Demon Wolf uh, sent a bunch here. Here's some of the better ones, and and you got in on this. Uh, there we are. People are like face reveal. There we are. Um, yeah. So here here are some of the meltdowns uh, to Variety. No one asked. Just give us an animated lesbian Shira movie. No one asked for your lesbian Shira version either. I uh, hear Tina says now you know how the the old cartoon fans felt. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, using the thumbnail of our new favored Shira and then saying it's not tied to or related to in any way uh, storyline, that's not very cash money. Well, you weren't giving them cash money to begin with, which is why it didn't get made more. We got clickbaited. Oh, sweet summer child. Is she going to be gay or not? You know, there are more things about Shira's show other than being gay. Oh my God, if it's not related to the animated show, they're probably going to make her straight and give her a male love you interest. You mean like they did? years prior to your bullshit seahawk says hello <laughs> as he unbuckles his belt yeah the real seahawk not the one that now, you, yeah bo was gay af in the original show there's no doubt he was the gay friend which yeah. was very different from the toy line the toy uh -uh. Line. they only invented diversity oh, with okay. noel stevenson's show yeah he was the the ginger gay mm -hmm. um he had the hots for uh some male characters very obvious uh about okay. as obvious as they can make it. Okay, I love this one. I had to take this one on. What the hell is this? <laughs> Nobody asks for this. It seems that the studios no longer have brain cells. We <laughs> asked for a hashtag Shira movie animated, a sequel of not of the Netflix Shira 2018. Not this. Well, sweet cheeks. Nobody asked for your stupid Shira the animated show that you had for 2018 on Netflix either. And you know what? It didn't do that great. It really didn't. No matter how much times your alt accounts try to make it sound otherwise. Oh, this is delightful. Absolutely delightful. The karmic boomerang. Now, it's very possible this show is going to be... A worse. Worse. I have no hope for the new show either. But you're going to have to You're gonna have to have fight the new fans over Shira. I have, I have no too. hope in a new That's, show either, and I think they should just be I think canceled it's in all general. A bad idea, yeah. But... I have to sit here and I'm going to, I'm going to gloat here and I'm going to do it because you all gave me shit for three years. You know what? Oh, it meant, you don't understand. It meant so much to me. You don't understand. Original Shira meant a lot to a lot of people. It did for decades. That's why the show was around and, and kept popular and had a fan base. It did for over 30 years and before you little shits were even born. And then you come in here and act the way you behave and, and, and you act like little giant babies. And from the beginning, I said, hey, you're allowed to like it. Yeah. But hey, you're allowed to not like it too. We always said people could like it. People have come to me all the time and said, but I like the new show. And I'm like, cool, that's fine. As long as you're not going around vilifying people and acting like an asshat, I don't care if you like the new show. That's okay. If you separate it from what, if you don't call it she it wasn't terrible. But it's not she -Ra. And um, this new show won't be Shira to you either. So now so, you can take it up with the fans of this new show. Right. It's not for you. It's for the children. If you don't like it, don't watch it. You have your old show. You can watch that. The the new the, the, the Shira is from 2018 was so campy and trash. It was just made to to sell agenda and everything else. You want? I can go on all day. But I like the next one. Shira show is over. There's nothing more to tell. Don't destroy the ending it got. <laughs> also, that's ironic considering the fact that this show was exactly that. A remake that changed almost everything the original was. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This is this is very, very, you know, I, I love it. You, you guys. I you, the karma sticks its foot up your ass. You can move on now. You can leave us the fuck alone and you can go harass Variety and go harass Amazon and scream and yell into the void at DreamWorks yeah. and they're not listening. They don't care. Ask yourself, why am I upset that they possibly might do another a, a live action show that has nothing to do with the version you like? Why are you upset? Because it meant something to you? Same. Because you like those characters? Same. Because it connected with you on some level, it was very important to you growing up or very important to you, you know, as it has been for a while, except for your case, it's only been three years. Same. Try 30 some years. You know, everything you're pissed about and how you're upset and how you feel was how all the fans that you trash talked and pissed on and made threats against and called names felt. Be better. I'm only gloating now because I'm, I, you know what, I'm karma, you deserve what you get. Because you are so ridiculously fucked up with the way you behaved over this. And you know what, now, at DreamWorks, your PR department better behave better moving forward. You know what, they probably won't treat these people like they treated the old school fans. Their whole PR mandate in lockstep with all the blogs. Oh, it's only men and they're mad. Yeah, Toxic, all, shitty fans. Only men and they're mad. It's and you're pathetic. homophobic. You're, you're, it's a phobe. Yeah, you're not going to see, you're not going to see like, oh my God, a bunch of soul 
all the LGBTQ teenagers are really upset. I don't that, think teenagers, probably the teenagers in early twenties. They're really, a, they're really upset that uh, a new generation are, are going to get their own version of Shira. How dare they? Yeah, it's you won't see that. Pathetic. But we you got that thrown at us constantly. You won't see that. You know what? So everything you've said, just put it back at yourself because you do. You know, you're the ones of you that are acting out here acting like giant. Man, baby, bullshit. I'm not going to insult men. Sorry, men. I'm not insulting you. Men, uh, woman, baby, BSers. Because, you know, cry, cry, cry. Because that's what you did to us. Yep. Sucks to be you. Everything you feel is how everybody else felt. Yep. Karmic boomerang. Uh, yeah. Here's a petition. We demand. Oh, yeah. They made petitions. We demand, demand that they cease production. We to demand which J, to which JJ says, <laughs> Yeah, right. Because everybody, all the old, a lot of the old school fans demanded, you know, they stop, you know, at least vilifying them with their PR spin. They didn't. Nope. Nope. Uh, no. Okay, so this is uh, Comic Book Resources again using DreamWorks Shira, mm -hmm. and they're pissed about that. How dare you? How dare you use her? Well, every 80s franchise. That's been desecrated. They always, you know, drag out pictures of the old. Uh, hey, they're promoting the uh, live action Avatar with pictures of the original animated series. Yeah, how we, dare they? No, it's not going to look anything like that, right? If it doesn't have Catra, I don't want. It'll have Catra. But it, they, they always have Catra. Maybe they'll it. fight over Bo like they did in the original comics. Even though Bo was interested in neither of them. Yeah, yeah. That would that and would especially be especially Catra. He didn't like pussy. That. That would be the twist. Shira and Catra fighting over Bo for a season. Well, then I'm gay. Well, Sorry. You, you said, and I, I love this. You said, what are they going to do? First episode, they kill off Shira and it's all about Bo? Yes. That's but, what they but, need to do. Yeah. That's what they I need like to this. do. I like this. If they did the OG Shira story, they make bank. I agree. They would, but they won't. You know they won't. I mean, this, this show is going to be for nobody, but it's going to get its own audience. Uh -huh. And that audience is going to attack the 2018 audience. And then fans of the old Shira are just going to laugh at both of them and be mm -hmm. like, or they, yeah, they're Sucks probably to be gonna, you. They're probably going to take elements from both and try to appeal to everyone. It's probably not going to work. It's not going to work. Um, They should make it like Xeno, which was what okay, yeah, we said they might yeah. do. Um. Yeah, you know, the classic fandom felt. Yes, thank you. No! I'm just like, you know what? You and the horse you rode in on because, you, yep. uh, you know, I'm just, you guys, you, you you gave so much shit. You know, I might feel bad for you and understand where you're coming from a little bit if you hadn't been such colossal asshats to begin with. Yeah. Oh, wait, uh, is there more? Well, these are comments on the Gizmo. I'm getting a drink while you do this. Keep going. Oh, uh, yeah, I need some alcohol. Um, Yeah, you know, it's, like I said, of all the stuff we cover and of all the, the, the opinions we get. I the need popcorn. Uh, of, of the she fans, and we call them she -ries, The reason we call them she -ries is because they go on Twitter and they reenact like this. And uh, they have, hands down, been the worst. Um, we have, again, you know, we've gotten literal death threats. We've, we've had, uh, doxing. We've had all, all, all over a fucking cartoon show that's over. And we had people uh, getting on me like, it's not canceled. There's still new episodes that have to air. I'm like, bitch, please. Everybody went home. Yeah. They already, they already canceled. finished them. It's canceled. They it's just haven't canceled. Season to air yet. Not having a season six. Means it's canceled. Oh, and by the way, when they say season, they had five seasons. That's a load of shit. They had like two 26 episodes, you know, orders. Bullshit. Two, five seasons. Six episodes is not a season, Netflix. Oh, that's kind of funny. They're talking about the superior 80s version. Yeah, I mean, honestly, could a live action she work? Yeah, if they, if they stuck closer to the original mythos. Now, obviously, they probably can't get He-Man involved, but, you know, having a former Horde trooper where the Horde are actually a threat and not just a bunch of dumbass teenagers, the Horde are actually a threat, showing Adora being a threat and then having a change of heart and fighting for the other side and all the politics and junk that could go on and the cool stuff, it could be really good. And they could still put diversity into yeah, it. Yeah, but it's not going to be. You know it's going to be shit. It's, oh, it's going to be, like, gonna I wasn't shit. kidding when I said she's probably going to be black and fat. <laughs> uh, and, you know, and, you know, Catra's going to be a literal cat by who the, talks. By the power of Grayskull, I am cake bitch. Cake bitch, yeah. So, I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it's they're probably going to try to take elements from both to appease everyone, and it's going to please no one. Yep. Uh, yep. If you had to bet on one of the two sides, I would bet on the classic side, because at least they spend money, and there's a lot more of them. Um... There, Netflix did not do a contrary to the narrative 
we have heard from people that were there that it did not it, it did better than Masters of Universe Revelations, from my understanding. Yeah. Uh, but it did not do super, super gangbusters. Yeah. I mean, at this point, just abandon all hope. And we knew the day was going to come. We knew the day was going to come. And look. I didn't think it'd be this soon. I didn't think it would be this soon. That That's because of the rights issue, I think. And they know that there are toys to be sold. I mean, look again, look at what they're doing with He-Man. And they had action figures ready to go for Revelation and for the new CGI show. Like selling toys is what Mattel does. And that's what they're going to do. Now, DreamWorks has control of it, which is different. But I'm sure Mattel's had conversations with them. Like, yeah, that last show we did didn't sell shit for us. We want a show where we can make action figures. They're already moving on and all the stuff they're making is classic Shira. Yep. That's it. They have They've almost stepped over this one. Completely forgotten the cartoon. Um and I know most people did because most people didn't watch it. It had its fans for sure. But you yes. ask about Shira, most people think of classic Shira. Sorry. Sorry. So there we go. Um yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's gonna be really interesting. Now this thing could be years away. Yeah, if it even gets done. Yeah. Truth be told, you know, it might not. Because it's, it's early, early. They didn't have a series order for it. Um, as far as a, a She-Ra movie, I mean, I guess Stranger Things have happened. It's possible. But I just don't, I don't, I just don't think so. They would have done it by now. <laughs> the write-up on this. Okay, wait, read the write-up. I gotta hear it. The issue behind the remake is that the LGBT plus community fought for years to be heard and seen in children's animation. Only for all the hard work and perseverance conducted by Stevenson and fellow LGBTQ plus fans, the program be stripped away by a live action that not only provides no closure to the 2018 story, but continues to place the male gaze on heroic women by creating them as objects for male okay, pleasure. Okay, okay, okay. This is not okay. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, Beck F. I got some news for you. Beck A. Um, yeah, Beck A. Um, <laughs> you guys did not invent diversity and inclusion. The original show had a lot of people working on it that were very, very diverse, okay? You did not invent this. Stop acting like Noel Stevenson invented diversity because Noel Stevenson didn't, okay? But that would require you to, like, not have your head up your ass and to have been around all those years when there was diversity in cartoons and there were diversity behind the scenes of cartoons, you, you know, but when the glass ceilings were actually broken. Um, you, you know, if you do your homework, okay? Um, pat, pat in the head there. Um, also, I love this. The male gaze, right? Because you can't have the male gaze because it's better to have the female gaze. The women, because you need to be have, have uh, Adora be a hot chick so all the lesbians can have objectify her for their pleasure and for their art on Tumblr. Men, you're not allowed to please yourself to Catradora. That's for us. That's, pretty, That's for us. Pretty much. This is the stupidest thing <laughs> I've ever seen. I can't. This actually broke me. I'm just is like, this real or is this somebody trolling? The male gaze. You can't have it on heroic women. That's for lesbians to do. If you care, DreamWorks Mattel. If you, oh, if you care about representation. You'll cancel it right now. Stop it. We can't have the men pleasing themselves to our If shit. you care about money, you know where the money lies. Just saying. Look at all the toys coming out. I'm talking toys and talking I can't believe they things. said because of male gaze. I'm like, would you stop? Because, you know, when they do this, I'm always like, what about the lesbians watching it that, that they're getting off to it? They're doing, they, they immediately, they could have made that argument if there wasn't reams of art out there of, of uh, you know, sexualized cat Cadora stuff. Even when, the, and you know what? At least the original Shear was over 18. Mm. She was. And yeah. you have all these underage porn of, of your, your characters, and that's fine. So if you didn't have that, you could maybe make that argument and be like, well, there's porn of She-Ra. Yeah, there is, but there's porn that you've made of She-Ra as well. So you know what? Hypocrisy is Becky and stick it up your ass. Or your other whole, we aren't going to judge because I'm sure you've already done it. Wow. Okay. We're going to wrap it up. Yes. We're going to wrap it up. Normally we're not this salty, but you have no idea how much shit we've got. We don't got talk about it. We have gotten we have so... Receipts much shit from these people. Yeah, it always amazes you when someone steps into it and they're like, oh my God, what? And I'm just like, oh, you're new. <laughs> like, Pretty much. Like, you have no idea how bad shit these people are, but th good luck with that. Hopefully, hopefully they all go harass Amazon now and harass DreamWorks because we have nothing in it. We're just, we're just sitting here eating popcorn, watching this whole thing you implode. Leave the old school fans alone as we spend our money and actually go buy the toys that are based on the old She-Ra because that's what they're doing. Yeah, Mattel loves us. Yeah, hey Mattel. Oh, no, they don't love us. I but really you know, us, but, but Mattel, I'll be buying your shit all day long as long as it's classic She-Ra. And if you get it brushable hair, I'll buy it twice. 
one to brush and one to keep in the box. Yes, yeah, seriously. Yeah, so we're gonna wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.